I started wearing this at Abbey Gear uh, about two or three years ago. Um, I was the first, well, I think I was the first poker player to ever wear it. And um, all the young guys, Danish, Swedish, whatever, they always used to come up to, to me and say, where'd you get your shirts from? And um, I must have made this guy thousands, you know. He should be giving the old devil fish a few grand, actually. Um, but I like dressing, you know, I like, I like clothes. I go out and shop, you know, I shop for England, actually. When I go to Vegas, I, I book in the Bellagio. I've usually got a couple of lights flashing on the phone, and it's, you know, it's the top shops, you know, um, telling me they've got new lines in, you know, trying to get me down there. So, um, yeah, I actually got the, um, I got the best dressed man in Vegas, um, uh, not this year, last year. So that was pretty cool. On Thursday night, I went to a friend of mine's club, um, at Amica, and we took a camera crew with us, an American camera crew, and um, we had a really good crack, actually. Um, a couple of the guys with us didn't stand the pace, they were all falling asleep and being sick and stuff, because it's hard to drink with a fish, not many people party with a fish. Well, you know that anyway, right, guys? We got, we got to bed with me and my girlfriend, because she's just as good as me. I mean, we're from home, we drink. And um, we got about four hours, we went to bed at 10 o'clock in the morning, we got about four hours sleep. We got up, we had a nice fish and chips next door, <laughs> with some champagne, and then we came in here and got back on the Red Bull till about, I don't know, probably three o'clock in the morning again. I want to put my best shot in tomorrow. And, and give it a go, you know. No point putting 10 grand in if, if you're drunk, you know, really. So, um, oh, you got an hangover. So I'm going to give him my best shot tomorrow and, and see how it goes, really. I mean, uh, it's going to be a big prize. It's a World Series bracelet. That's right. And there's a lot of very good players come down for this. I mean, a lot of Americans come over. And obviously, they don't fly all the way for nothing. They're going to try and win it. Um, giving it the best shot, the rare game. Um, you know, I mean, but really, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm quite, in some ways, I'm glad I'm playing tomorrow because all the best players are playing tomorrow, apparently. And I like to play with good players. I mean, it's the young lunatics, you know. I mean, actually, they, they're actually putting a new concept to this Nolan Middleton because the good players, the good poker players, are never ever going to be able to accumulate as much chips as the lunatics because the lunatics go to war with each other and they build big mountains of chips. You know, if they don't get knocked out, they, they build and build and build. And obviously, the good poker players are never going to build out that rate because they're never in the pots to get lucky in, in them situations. You know what I mean? So it's very difficult now. Even if you make a final, you're probably going to make a final with a lot less chips than a lot of players, you know, if you're a good poker player. So, so um, you know, I might have to try and play a bit faster. I'll try and play these games nice and easy and slide in. But, you know, I think, I mean, usually we used to say at the main event, if you doubled up the first day, it was doing good. That used to be the old, you know, the old policy.